<laughs> Interesting. Okay. You're live. All right. Cool. Hello. Can everybody hear me? Can can every can all the people here hear me? Okay. How do I like share this with people? Uh oh, the share button usually works for that. Okay. All right, so you guys can just look at um, Raf and Pietra for now. Um, I'm gonna post this to Twitter real quick. God, I haven't posted on Twitter in like ages. <laughs> There's no seal emoji. There's only a sea otter. Which I appreciate. But actually, I can't find it on the Twitter. I guess I'll do a deer. Where's the deer? And like a wave, maybe? <laughs> Uh, here we go. Uh, I really hope I can stay awake. Okay. How's the sound quality? Like, I'm, I'm playing music, but it's kind of far away from the microphone, so... I'm hoping that isn't too intrusive. All right. Um, so current progress is like we've got some sketches done. Oh, it's going to have to refocus a little bit. Um, so I guess I'll just... Like, some of these are closer to being finished than others, so I'll start um, readjust my seat a little bit. Um, yeah, I guess just start with the, like, inking. hope I'm not too rusty at this. Oh. I kind of need references. Hi. How's that? Uh, here it is. Sorry, I have to um, pull up 
my reference. It's been a little while, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it feels like it's been longer because of all the, you know, global pandemic nonsense. Uh, oh, shoot, I forgot to save this. Crap, okay. Mm. That's okay. I had put a bunch of images into the... Oh, shoot, that shadow is really bad. Um, oh, that's nasty. Ugh. Um, okay. So it should readjust. And then hopefully, yeah... This webcam is so much better than my last setup, but it's just uh, kind of getting used to it. Okay. It's just going in there. I'm going to go on record and say that I really don't like drawing Raph's hair. I guess like the plus side is it doesn't, there's not much rhyme or reason to it. So like you can kind of fudge it a little bit. It's, it's like just a bit shorter than I would want to make it though. Yeah, I actually got this from work, <laughs> the webcam. So it's kind of a plus, the whole um, like working stuff. But yeah, the the um, jump in quality is kind of insane. I started with a 240p webcam, so this is much better. Um. I do really like his, like, it almost looks like a blacksmith outfit, kind of. But he, I guess, works at a restaurant. So even though he doesn't like cooking, I don't, I don't understand. I feel like there wasn't enough communication going on with the team there. Switching over to a slightly thicker pen here. Um, oh, he's got like... Oh, 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 okay. We're gonna make him sand dollars. Perfect. Uh, he's got gloves, but I like the flippers to be bare, so we're gonna opt out of the big gloves. Uh, 
I'm assuming he's like not um like they made him not like cooking or not good at cooking uh cuz he you know he's like no cook only eat Although I guess like um I've heard from enough people who have worked at restaurants that uh or, or have looked into being chefs because they like cooking and they have, or at least some of them have said, like, it'll make you not like cooking anymore. So. It might be something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know too many. I know way more people who are like interested in cooking or they're like home cooks. Um, then I don't. I'm trying to think if I know anybody in the restaurant business. There's like people I went to high school with who ended up going to culinary school, but I didn't know them too well. Um, I kind of goofed that. Oh, well. That's definitely true, yeah. <laughs> I've thought about that a lot with uh, whether to look into um, art as a career. Getting the whiskers in early this time. Um, he doesn't really have... Yeah, he doesn't have a shoulder guard on this arm. Uh, good enough. I can't tell what this thing is at his waist. It looks like it's like a dish rag, maybe. A white flag.
Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's just something that takes a lot of practice. Like I've messed up a lot of line art. Um, okay. How am I going to do this? I guess like end the shirt. He's just got random belts on his legs for no reason. Like, like he's a Final Fantasy character or something. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. He's got, like, uh, shin guards. I forgot. Uh, okay. It's not what these belts are attached to, mind. I don't... Uh, okay. Well, we'll just do that. I was not using reference this heavily with the uh, lions. That was just, dare I say, a fluke. No, only whales have flukes. Um, okay, well, we'll let those lines settle, I guess. Um, Hilda and Marianne are pretty... far along. Um, wait. Uh, okay, I'm still trying to figure out. It's like backwards on the video, so. Um, there we go. We'll do Claude, or at least get a little bit of sketching in on him. Turned out good, I think. I don't know if I would describe seals as pretty. Okay, yeah, the problem with Claude's official art is um, it's from the back, so actually, I'm just gonna grab my art book. See, I got all the angles I want. But unfortunately, they only have the post time skip designs for the lords in this book, so. Um, okay. I don't know where to put this. Uh, okay, I have to do a little bit of reorganizing here. Here's this Claude too. We'll just I'll, I'll sit him here until I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, this is a really nice, like, surprisingly nice for um, what 
uh, I guess the previous um, special editions have had. Uh, like the one that came with Awakening um, as a pre-order bonus is like, I, well, it's uh, it's this, um, and it's just like this little. Sorry, it's I can't really get it very far, much farther away. Um, like you get a little bit of concept art, kind of, but. Um, it's like only a few characters and I mean, just a, a very basic little booklet. Um, but I guess that's kind of before they started doing more um, pre-order bonuses as more of an incentive. Um, they like, cause they were just little bonuses before. Um, and of course now they're much more involved. Okay. Actually, <laughs> now that I look at it, I don't even need to see him from the front because he's all flipped around. Okay. Okay, honestly. I can't deal with the upside down uh, as is. He's got two levels of Oh man, this is more perception than I'm probably ready or awake for. Uh, okay, so this shoulder has the black cape draped over it, and then the yellow one comes off of this shoulder. Sorry. That's a really intricate design on the shoulder guard. Um, what can we do? Okay, okay, I have an idea. Wow, okay. <laughs> So, um, 
I looked up uh, conch. Is it conch shells? Um, and I didn't really know what the snail looked like, but uh, this is apparently what the snail looks like. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to try and make his shoulder guard like shaped like a conch shell or something. Oh, <laughs> what do the underscores do? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I don't know that Gary is supposed to be a specific snail. That doesn't work. Well, okay. His scarf belt wouldn't be that far up. I guess. I don't know. Different rules for seals, maybe. song just play I've actually eaten con con uh, that snail um I don't really remember what it tasted like I think it was just sort of like clam or oyster more or less same kind of taste I've been forgetting the tails um like they've got a little tail next to the flippers cuz these are feet so um Okay, I think he's ready. Okay. 
He's like small compared to the other ones. I didn't mean to draw him that small. Some of the facial hair looks a little goofy. I mean, it does anyway, but uh, without ears. Although I guess Claude's the first one I've drawn that actually has facial hair. Okay, I guess this just sort of drapes like that. Um, um, by stubble, do you mean like the sideburn chin strap thing like it's okay um i guess my opinion's kind of colored by um <laughs> that was the like the kind of i don't know what, what word to use but um the moment in the e3 trailer when i realized that the time skip um or, or the um, Fanny Bombs leak was accurate because, like, that was one of the things that she had said to look for um, was that Claude had, like, weird sideburns in the time skip. So as soon as I saw that, that was, the, like, the moment that um, confirmed that for me. So it's kind of like a, um, I don't know, independent of how it actually looks, I guess. I have affection for it in that sense. Definitely not the worst facial hair in the game. But that's also not saying that much. The, uh, the worst one? Uh, Roderick is pretty bad. Um,
I feel like there's a minor character I'm forgetting who also had pretty bad facial hair, though. Oh, there's that, um, uh, what's his name, Acheron? But I think he's just, like, supposed to be intentionally dorky looking. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have left his eyes uh, open to color in. Oh, well. Oh, the earring. I wonder... Hmm. I gave Dorothea earrings, so I guess, but those are like more, it's not like a ring, huh? Well, okay. I'll do that with a thin. Hey, how's it going? On the thin. Um, I see what you're saying. I already started though. <laughs> Eh, whatever. Okay. Um, uh, should I do the crust on this? Is crust the right term? <laughs> Coat of arms. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to get that in the frame better. Okay, this is kind of shaped like a fish, I feel like. It's already got that. Okay. Keeping the scarf pom poms intact. Um, there's uh, my last trip to the beach. I found something, some kind of algae or seaweed or something that um, basically looked like a little pom pom 
Um, so not that like absolutely every part of the costume here was sourced from the ocean, but uh, that part is especially fitting. Um, okay, well, I think that should be good for Claude. Ah, sorry. There he is. Okay. Um, I, I, for anybody tuning in, um, just now I've finished up the line art on Raph. And uh, now I guess I'll move on to Hilda. I have to move my monitor real quick. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's not fall over, please. Sorry, I'm still getting used to where the monitor actually picks up, um, or where the webcam is actually picking up, uh, like a field of view. So I apologize in advance um, for any, or or in retrospect, <laughs> for uh, any times when it's been off. Yeah, sure thing. This will be... Um, I think available afterwards if you want to watch it. I'll at least do a time lapsed version. Ignatical, that's so good. Oh, I am put to shame. That's so good. Like, I spent so long trying to brainstorm, um, you know, ocean-related words. Uh. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think... Why did I give her a cape? What reference was I using for this? Does she have a cape? Okay. <sighs> Time to look at more references. Okay. Big thanks to Bye Bye Lie, I think I'm reading that right, um, who did all these like um, time skip reference, costume reference pieces um, that look pretty close to official art. Um, but they've been super useful. Oh, okay. I see what I was doing with this. 
Yeah, okay. So it's got like the dark red skirt here. Oh, this is gonna be tough. And then um this is the like the back of that. Um, but then there's sort of bow thing going on. Um, okay. Hmm. All right, well, here goes nothing. Hang on. Already don't like that line. <laughs> That's fine. Gosh, her outfit's so complicated. At least get the gesture in, basically. Um... Uh, I have to be careful. Uh, I kind of want to use a thinner. Well, no. Um. I cannot tell what the shape of her hair ribbon is supposed to be. 
with anything, so. Oh. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention to where her eyes are. That's okay. I can just kind of adjust the angle, but I might have to wait for this to dry a little bit. Oh, whoops. That line shouldn't be there. Shoot. Ooh. Okay, I'll just make it look like it was intentional. Oh, I goofed this all over the place because this was supposed to be her belt. Um, oh, man. You know what? We're just we're just going to hope that nobody notices or pays attention to that.
see, I do make mistakes in the line art. So, there. I'm also not paying attention to what side or where the front of the tail flippers are and where the back is. So, eh, it's fine. Okay, I really hope this is dry. I look okay. Hmm. I guess it's kind of nice to be able to see it flipped on the, the screen preview because that's a good way of kind of determining whether something's like proportional or not. I'm going to be finicky over this, I think.
other way around. There we go. That looks good, I think. Although, I, I don't know that I like the open eye. It's so weird how it looks like it really does look different on the when it's flipped like on the preview okay i'm just gonna call it on this I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how much more fuel I have in the tank, but uh, I'm gonna shift gears to coloring so that I can at least maybe finish a few. Um, I'm not gonna be able to finish all of them this session, but um, if I can get these ones done and then maybe do another session um, tomorrow or even tomorrow morning. Okay. Oh, I need to stand up for a second. My back's like numb. eraser. The eraser does take off some of the ink, um, so it, it ends up looking a little faded, but once the colors are in, um, it it's fine. Okay, I forget what all these colors look like. Um, I 
So, need some yellows. Where's my mouse cursor? Okay, so that's 43, well, maybe 53, what does that look like? Sorry, there's going to be a little bit of a process of, um, like, testing out the colors to see what they end up looking like. Oh, that's good for his apron. Yeah, okay. Oh, except <laughs> I'm realizing I forgot to line that. Whoops. Sorry, like every time I move it even slightly, it refocuses completely. I was going to say the, um, the fact that the, um, when you erase the ink kind of gets wiped off a little bit or rubbed off, um, it ends up like it's kind of similar in digital art to um, having the line art be either like a different color or not completely black or um, not at a hundred percent opacity. Um, and then doing a color layer um, multiplying with it uh, so that the color like slightly bleeds into the line art. Um, so you get kind of the same effect with this. Because the color will seep into the little holes in the line art that got rubbed off. I'll 
I'll just like color where I forgot to color here. I'm not going to do it for the straps. It's just too minute. Just realized he's got two colors on his gloves, though. Okay. This is what I'll do for his hair. I'll just do like little like bits of shading in there. Shading or just like darker roots, I guess. I don't know how hair works. My hair is all the same color. So That looks all right. And then, uh, e 40 maybe for, or E53 for his shirt. What does E31 look like? Oh, that actually would work. Uh, yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, I guess uh, he's got like I'm gonna have to <laughs> make some line art adjustments anyway, so uh, 
Um, all right, that's fine, I guess. I feel like I need to wait for this to dry, though. Hmm. Oh, well, I could work on one of the other ones for now. This is kind of how it goes, just like moving back and forth between them. Sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking. This is erasing shakes everything. Okay. pretty good for his hair. I don't know if it's too dark though. 79. Um, let me get a little 77 in there. Yeah, that's a little better. You know what? I really can't do this upside down business. I'm sorry if it's um, against the spirit of drawing Claude, but it's really hard. <laughs> Might be a little too dark. Huh. Yeah, that's fine.
Uh, this is kind of turning out lumpy. <laughs> Might just have to go over it with a different color. Anyway. Yeah, I think the ink in this is running a little bit dry. Oh yeah, you can see on the tip of the marker, it's like not uniform color. Uh, might be a little bit too red, orangey. Oh well. The colors are gonna end up like being completely different depending on what device is picking up the image anyway. So I'm not gonna get too flustered about it. here. Can't forget the all-important tassel. I don't get to make his eyes green, so I gotta include the green where I can. Um, okay. Worm grain number 10, which I'm pretty sure might just be black. Yeah, that's uh, pretty indistinguishable from black, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they are different. Like, for Hubert, I had to use a bunch of different really dark grays. Um, they dry a little bit different than they go on as sometimes, but... Ooh. 
gray. Do I have a couple of warm grays? Is this a warm gray? No. Although grayish violet, that might be okay. I don't know why it needs to be warm. It doesn't look that warm. Whatever. Yeah, it's definitely more gray there. Um, we'll just do cool gray, whatever. I'm overthinking it. It's not even that much to cover here. Sorry, you're going to have to bear with me digging through and testing different markers. Trying to make this look kind of shiny, but also similar to the pattern of an actual conch shell. Looks pretty good. Hi there. Uh, why 
17. What's that? That one might be okay. Oh, wait. Thank you. Where is this on the chart? Oh, Y06. There is no Y09. No? Okay, that's more like what's going on over here. It's a little too bright. It's almost like a highlighter. Uh, 119, I think I wanted. Yeah. Nice bright yellow gold. I'm not going too big on shading for these unless I need to evoke some kind of texture. So that's sort of what I was trying to do on the shell pauldron. Yeah, they're pretty similar in the art, but um, I was saying I kind of wanted to get like a halfway in between um, th what the pattern on an actual shell and uh, something that looked like it was made of gold. This marker looks a little bit different because this is a prisma color, whereas the others are Copics. Copics? Copics? I think it's Copic. Yeah, um, so uh, I would never be able to afford these, um, but 
uh, Bryn sent them to me. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to pay her back, but uh, not uh, since they're secondhand. It's not what I would have paid otherwise. Yeah, it was super nice. Um, okay. Guess that's fine. Kind of feel like I should shade the cravat a little bit. Oh, I don't know that it was supposed to be. I still feel like I should pay for at least some of it. The shipping alone was kind of bananas. Okay, um, I'm going to leave him looking very uncomfortably white for now. <laughs> uh, I, I am sort of waiting to figure out after I do like the um, canon colors such as they are, uh, what everybody's skin color is as a seal. And it's just sort of a matter of like seeing what works, seeing what looks good, what, you know, complements the rest of the colors. Okay. Yeah, some of that the, that brown dried pretty light. You have to go through kind of different levels of assessing the colors because, like the the color I just used looks like this on the cap. I don't know if you can see it very well, but well, okay. Oh uh, no, <laughs> it's gonna take a second to focus. There we go. Um, so like, it almost looks the same as that straw blonde, but it turns out looking like that. So um, the plastic cap isn't really a good indication of what that color actually looks like, but then it'll dry a little different than how it goes on wet. Um, so it's always, or you, you can't, be a hundred percent sure of how things are gonna look. Um. And that's fine. I end up mixing these anyway, a decent amount.
Oh no, color bleeding. How many colors? Um, I, I haven't counted them actually. Um, I would estimate. So, okay, I had probably 30 or 40 Prisma colors to start. And then I got this new batches, like. 120 maybe, um, all told. So anywhere from 150 to 170, I would, I would estimate. I'm also very bad at estimating. Um, and a lot of the Prisma colors and Copics are effectively the same color. Um, Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, and the nice thing about these is, like, you if you don't have exactly the color you're going for, you can pretty much mix them enough to get what you're what you need. Um, I know there's leather. They've also all got a code. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then, uh, oh, where did I put that? Well, um, I'll unpin it for now. This is like the kind of how you can, how they're organized is backwards as far as I can tell, but, um, the, they've all got these different color codes. And so, um, you can, you don't have to remember what the names of the colors are. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. I'm, I, I should be drawing way more with them to sort of, um, I, I don't know, I guess, pay for having pay it forward that I have these um oh, is this it that's not what that looks like at all yeah so like this this brown is called leather um and it comes out looking super orange so it's like pretty much exactly the um the color of his little like doublet or I don't know what you call that padded um it's like it's like armor but a shirt um <laughs> I don't know I'll look it up I probably won't Gamson, yeah. That sounds right. I don't a hundred percent know.
Oh yeah, I'm still. It's still kind of unreal that because these are. Yeah. Um, like I, I had kind of cooled on the. Um, I don't know the prestige of having super, super good markers, um, which when I was in high school um, and I was doing more traditional art uh, was like the goal pretty much. Um, that was when I was buying all those Prismacolors, um, which are the, like they're pretty good and they're basically the same uh, type of marker as um, Copics, but um, which I still consistently pronounce wrong, Copics. Um, but they're, you know, they're they're not as, not quite as high quality and obviously not as expensive. Um, but these were just like always kind of a pipe dream. Um, I I never actually thought I'd get to use them, so it's it's really cool. But there are a lot of artists who say, like, they're not as good as sort of the hype surrounding them. Um, and there's not, like, a super pronounced difference between these and the Prismas. It's mostly just really satisfying to have that brush tip um, and that combined with the, um, like how even and smooth the ink lays on. It's nice. They've got two tips also. They've got like the chisel tip at the end, um, but that doesn't have as much application because the brush, you can um, color pretty broad areas also, but then you can get really detailed and fine too. I try to use the chisel when I can just so that I don't, I'm not always using ink from the brush side. Although I'm pretty sure that they get their ink from the same source. Hmm, that's pretty close to a shirt color. What can I mix that with? 74 maybe? Um, or 25 or a warm gray? I'm not familiar with the mathematician hoarding chalk.
Oh, really? What was so good about the chalk? Hmm. I think that's gonna do it for Wrath for now. Um uh, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe kind of orangish like something a little bit warmer. Um maybe kind of close to what Ferdinand ended up being. Or Petra. Um, we'll see. Oh, that looks like, shoot, looks like it rubbed pencil, like I got hold of a little piece of pencil and rubbed it everywhere, but it's not so bad. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I don't know if you were here for the, um, when I was doing the line art on her, but I definitely messed up a couple times. Um, so I'm glad that it doesn't show that bad. I'm going to blame it on her stupid costume for being complicated. Okay, so she's got like, really subtle differences in color in the different components of her outfit. So this might take a little bit of planning. Okay. Okay. That's not that bad. Sorry, I'm like really staring at this reference trying to figure out where the different colors are. Okay. 
it's a piece of fan art too so it's like kind of not even necessarily accurate but it's really hard to tell from the in-game images Oh, she's got a little bow on that. Didn't notice that before. Um, I could put that on. Wait. Uh, what happened to... RV twenty three. You have two. Mm. Or twenty. Two. Oh, oh, I might use that anyway. Pink is the color I use the least, so I don't have a very good sense of the differences between these. Okay, that's good. Although I definitely... I did a... Uh, one of my first drawings with a Copix was a Kirby, so... They got at least a little bit of practice in. Yeah, that one works. We'll do that for the... Hmm. Well, that's fine for a base. Might be a little too close to red. Or I guess um, earthy is sort of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Bubble gum, that's a good description. This is called blush, this pink. Um, and then I've got blush pink from Prismacolor, which is completely different. Uh, so that's why it's kind of nice to have the codes. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's even a little bright. Where? Okay, RV twenty three. Where? Okay, it was all the way at the very back of the drawer. There we go. I was so confident that I just went right in with it. It's coming out a little, a little washed out in the, um, on the video, but looks pretty good. What the hell? This is some kind of animal on my roof. I hope it's an animal. <laughs> okay, back to the outfit. R83, I think is going to be what I want for, well, yeah, there's very little consistency in these references because the one of her in-game model that I have, like, her shirt or her dress, like the pink on her sleeves here is lighter than her hair, but the, it's not like that in any of the other reference images, which are fan art, but like presumably still based on the game. That's okay. I won't worry too much about it. I thought this um, color code was, uh, oh, I don't know if it's backwards for you, but um, it's RV34. I thought I read it as R34, and I was going to make a joke about that, but it's 
probably best that I don't. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's fine. I don't know. I'm very confused by this color scheme. Uh, which fanner? Um, I have it only on a pure ref file. Um, pure ref is a program where you can just like drop images um, and uh, kind of aggregate them um, and then save that collection of images. Um, so I don't think that they still have sources, but um, they're one of the ones I'm using is that artist. Um, I can't, okay, I can't read their handwriting on that picture, but maybe I can on one of these other ones. Uh, bye bye Kai, um, who did these like concept art style. They they look like official concept art, but it's for the post time skip designs. Um, so, like if you have seen um, what look like concept sheets for the post skip that it's all from this one artist um so i have those for a few characters including hilda um there's another one from easy cosplay um which like i, I don't know if it's a company or what but they've like made cosplay versions um of it's and it's not somebody wearing it it's just the costume on a mannequin um but that one is include they like they show the in-game model next to it so um as a reference so I, that's one of them and then uh there's another one of her where she's like swinging her axe um i'm pretty sure i saw this one on reddit so you can probably find it there Sorry, I would tilt the webcam to show what's on the monitor, but I don't want to mess with it. It's Otherwise, I'm going to be spending 60 years finishing it or uh, fixing it. Yeah, I just try to find fan art that like um, is a full body reference usually or... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's full body, it's well drawn, it shows the outfit. Surprisingly difficult to find good references. Okay, that should be good for... Like... This part. Ah, color bleeding. Might as well do that while I'm thinking about it. Okay. 
just gonna indicate kind of like gloves. Oh, there's like, okay. Okay, there's different. Even the lacy trim bits are kind of different colors. Why do you have to be so fashionable, Hilda? Mm, yeah, that's fine. I'm fudging the lace pattern, which looks different on each of these images anyway, so. There's just some things with some of these character designs that I've sort of given up on ever reaching any kind of consistency with. She's very pink. Mm. Okay. I'm a little concerned about how inconsistent the ink on this is. Don't really want to use it for fine detail. Okay. Sorry, I missed what you were responding to. <laughs> Thank you. 
focused on trying to digging around trying to find a particular color. Oh wait, I already used this. Okay. RB69 then? Is that this one? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually I got pretty accurate with Raya. Um Her hair didn't, it's usually the hair that gets me, um, but her hair didn't give me too much trouble. Well, it's, it's ridiculous, but it didn't give me too much trouble in particular. Um, sorry, I'm second guessing these color choices. also messed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who I have issues with the hair. Um, Claude, I think I've managed to get okay. I, I did a lot of study on trying to get his hair just right. Um... Set if I don't understand how his hair works. And I think I've just like fallen into a habit of drawing it in a way that isn't really accurate. Where's the bow? It's gonna be this color, I guess. The more time that passes on this, the less I care about it being right.
I think I'm going to end up going over all of this in one color to kind of unify it. What is going on with that? I have no idea what I was going for there. <laughs> yeah, I like how they turned out. Well, so far. Anything could happen. This one I'm gonna mix with a different color because I don't, none of the markers by themselves quite get what I'm going for. Don't know what I was doing with that. That's not part of her design. <laughs> this little line here. Oh well. I didn't really get a chance to work in any um, like marine theming with her.
So this is just going back over stuff for color adjustment. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess it didn't matter that there was color bleeding there. When I first started doing digital art, like very, very, very first, like, well, I guess I did like MS Paint but when I was a little kid, but uh, it was a oikaki. I don't know if they still have these, but um, it's like a little um, forum sort of where you, there was a built-in um, drawing program in the browser that you would draw pictures with. Um, and then post them directly to this forum. Um, and so, like, that was just where I cut my teeth on um, digital art. Um, so <laughs> the people who were on there who were more experienced were pretty critical. Um, and that was, like, always the big thing was color bleeding. You wanted to avoid color bleeding, which is just, like, coloring outside the lines, basically. Um, and, like, it's just something that as I've gotten more experience, I've realized doesn't matter at all and nobody cares or notices. Um, so I, I, it just having encountered it accidentally with this, I just think it's kind of funny that it was something I cared about so much and something that like the slightly more experienced, like 14 year olds lorded over everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'll try this. Don't know if that's going to make a difference. Yeah, but <laughs> there's no discernible difference there. Um, I am too much. Oh, here it is. Well, I guess it was kind of an early form of social media, but yeah, that's kind of how it was. I sort of wish I could go back and tell my younger self, like, the people on the internet who you think are, like, the coolest and most, like, knowledgeable and grown up, like, you're going to look back and be like, wow.
Okay, so I guess last order of business here is figuring out everybody's skin tone. Oh, and... Um, wait. Where did my gray go? Okay, so I think Hilda's gonna be like gray, kind of like Linhart, what I went for with him. Um, or like Felix's. Yeah, I think that will work. That's just, I think it's the same gray, that neutral gray, too. Yeah, that looks good. I'm not confident yet to go over it. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hmm, might have to do some more color adjustment. I'm not super sure about how this looks. I went for this gray because I think it goes with her, like the color scheme of her outfit, but the hair kind of clashes. But I might have done the hair too light anyway, so. Flamingo paint. Flamingo pink? It's not what I would call that, but okay. Uh, I think this is going to be a little bit of trial and error.
think that already looks a little better, though. I don't even know why. I don't understand colors. I don't understand color theory. I don't understand how any of this works, frankly, but I also won't complain when it does. Ah, shoot. <laughs> oh thank you I I think it looks fine or I don't know a little better it's fine and it's I don't know ah, I don't know maybe um E70. Do I have that one? Um, maybe five. No. Yeah, I think this is kind of what I was, what I sort of had in mind when I was talking about unifying the color scheme. Like this, this pale grape it's called, it's like a sort of purplish pink. But there seems to be sort of a dull purple tint to the whole costume, so... I'm hoping that it can come through in the hair a little bit and, I don't know, inform the rest of it. Try, like... Just, <laughs> just indiscriminately covering or coloring over everything. It's fine. That's fine. I think it looks better on the screen, actually. So, we'll see.
a little, little bit nervous about Claude, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Uh, okay, that might work. I think something a little warmer to complement the red that'll tie everything together. E15. Oh, I already used that. I just want to look good. Um... And, um... I know that this can sometimes be something over which people get um, their feathers ruffled, so... And I understand why. That's, like, totally valid, but... I just would rather not, if at all possible, be have to navigate a you made Claude's skin color too light controversy, especially when he's a freaking seal. Um, let's see how that looks. Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh, I hope that looks good. <laughs>
Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to adjust that a little bit. Uh, that looks good, like, in the color palette, and I don't think it looks that good actually on him. Oh, shoot, that's actually taking off some of the ink. Ugh. I am concerned. Make the jacket lighter too. <laughs> yeah the colorless splendor on um copix is sort of mislabeled um because it doesn't blend so much as like remove um Trying to go over with more of a yellowish to unify everything. And recover how not good this looks. I like his jacket. It looks like a little mottled, which is kind of cool. I'm realizing what I should have done is just, uh, so I've, I've got these two tones that are like one shade off from each other. Um, they look a lot closer in the, uh, oh, actually now that I'm looking at it, I was mixing up the shades on the hex chart. So yeah, the light one's a lot lighter than the dark one, but the dark one doesn't, I don't know. It, it looked fine in the color palette. Um, 
but I should have just done two layers of the lighter one. Uh, that would have made it a lot smoother. Although I kind of like the modeled look. It's it, more like what actual seals look like. I'm gonna try go, going over his eyes again. I think I just, it, I had laid down so much ink that I hadn't dried the first time. Yeah, looking at the screen, that looks fine. <laughs> I think, I don't know, maybe it's like the fluorescent lighting or something. Uh, I've got a few different lamps on this. All right. Oh, I'm not going to be able to finish all of these. Um, I'm, I was going to finish Raph and then call it a night because um, I'm definitely oh I'm like super past my bedtime uh, yeah so I'll try and finish him up pretty quick uh, no idea what to do with his color scheme though um, I kind of wish I'd use that for his hair E34, I think. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's very gold. That's nice. Pale sepia. Huh. I'm actually going to go back and uh, work some of that into Claude's. I still don't know all of my colors. There's some colors that I like saw in there today that I didn't even know that I had. I think I'd said I'd wanted to do like a brownish gold, but it's like every shade of brown and gold or yellow is already kind of in his design as is, um, or his palette. I 
about this one. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'll do that. Yeah, that's different from what's already there. color his nose in later. Oh no! Shoot. Uh, it's fine. That is nice that you can kind of blend out um, mistakes like that. That's good. Kind of rustic. Uh, I will go over it. Well, I'll go over his hair with the yellow instead. Yeah, the the colors on screen look very different from how they look in person. I mean, I don't know that I want to say very different, but um, okay, let's try zooming out. I have this like on a pile of books, so uh, I'm just removing books from the pile to hopefully. 
to a little bit more at a time. Except now it's like slanted? Why? <sighs> so weird. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the best I can get it. I didn't even realize the camera was like uh, tilted. I don't know that I can fix it really. I'll try and come up with a better solution. But yeah, that'll. I'll probably adjust the colors a little bit. Um, but that'll do it for now. All right, well, um, I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. I'll, it looks like two viewers. Uh, <laughs> so um, I I don't know if I'm going to post this or how that's going to work, but um, or if it just goes up on, on YouTube automatically. But um, I will definitely do a time-lapse version of this um, that will be much easier to watch. So... <laughs> Um, thanks everybody. Have a good day. Stay safe and healthy and, um, I'll see you around. Bye.